In this class, we are going to show that every finite integral domain is a field. So, I have started with an integral domain R which is finite. Now, since R is finite, it is going to have some order. So, we are calling that order as n and we are calling elements of R as a1, a2 up to a n. As the order of R is n, so it will have n elements, right? So, for simplicity, we are calling that elements as a1, a2 up to a n. Now, we have to prove that this R is a field. Now, what is a field? Field is nothing but a commutative ring with unity in which every non-zero element is a unit. But as R is an integral domain, therefore R is a commutative ring with unity without zero divisors. Now, since we have to prove that R is a commutative ring with unity in which every non-zero element is a unit, but the commutative ring with unity part is already covered as R is an integral domain. So, it remains to show that every non-zero element of R is a unit. So, we will start with a non-zero element of R. So, I will say let AI be a non-zero element of R. Now, our ultimate aim is to show that this AI is actually a unit. But in order to prove it, we are going to consider one set and we are going to call it as S. So, I will say consider set S which is equal to A i A 1 comma A i A 2 and so on A i A n. Remember this A 1, A 2 up to A n are the elements of our ring. So, I am simply multiplying that each element of the ring by our non-zero element A i. Now, I am going to show that the elements of S are distinct. Why? The reason will come later. So, I will say now we show that elements of S are distinct, but we are going to prove it by contradiction. On contrary, we are going to assume that let us say there are two elements of the set S which are equal. So, this will imply that A i A j will be equal to A i A k for some j is not equal to k. Now, let us simply solve it by simple calculations and let us see what we get. So, this implies A i a j minus a i a k is actually equal to 0. This implies let us take that a i out by using one of the properties of rings obviously. So, a i inside the bracket a j minus a k will be equal to 0. But remember our ring is without 0 devices. Now, what is the condition of without 0 devices? If the multiplication of two elements in the ring is equal to 0, then either first will be 0 or second will be 0, right. So, I will say, but R is an integral domain. Therefore, this implies A i will be 0 or A j minus A k will be equal to 0. But a j minus a k is a non-zero quantity. What is the reason behind it? Because 
this j is actually not equal to k means this aj and ak are completely distinct elements so if this comes out to be equal to 0 then aj will be actually equal to ak and it will contradict to the fact that the order of our ring is n isn't it thus this aj minus ak is actually a non zero quantity and therefore this ai should be zero but which is a contradiction right why because this ai is actually nothing but a non zero element of r thus whatever we have assumed is wrong therefore our assumption is wrong therefore what should be right therefore all elements of s are distinct now as all the elements of s are distinct so what can you say about order of s see here we can count the number of elements isn't it this is the first element this is the second element and this is the nth element and all these elements are distinct so therefore what will be order of s order of s will be n right so this implies actually order of s is equal to n but this s is actually a subset of r why because this ai is the element of ring this a1 a2 an these are also elements of rings and we know that uh, the multiplication is a binary operation on this ring and thus this ai into a1 ai into a2 and so on all these are elements of the ring itself and therefore this s is a subset of r but what does it imply this implies s is equal to r why since order of r is also n order of s is n order of r is n and s is a subset of r therefore s should be equal to r and that is the reason why we have shown that all elements of s are distinct now remember initially integral domain means what integral domain means a commutative ring with unity so unity is there in r right so i'll say as unity 1 belongs to r but this r is nothing but s therefore this 1 belongs to s but elements of s are nothing but ai a1 so on up to ai an so what does it imply this implies this one can be written as ai into aj for some aj belonging to r and this is also equal to in fact aj into ai because the ring is commuted to so what we have shown here so this condition actually implies that ai is a unit so therefore i will say ai is a unit thus what we have shown is thus r is a commutative ring with unity in which every non zero element is a unit and therefore r is a field and that is exactly what we wanted to prove